playing classes for Gutenberg started as a small and straightforward plugin to help you write CSS classes faster, but it's grown into a powerful CSS class manager. You install it same as any other WordPress plugin. Go to the plugins, add new, upload, choose, select, open, install and then activate. Once you activate it, press on the settings and it's going to lead you to the license page. Grab license from the plugins. Shop website, paste the license, activate. After plugin activation, the only default feature is to allow you to write the classes. And that's uh, once you press any of the Gutenberg element, you're going to see the plain classes box here. And we can just write the test class, update. And we can see that uh, automatically it's updated here as well. And if we write here, it's automatically changed. Update. Let's go to the preview, inspect. And here is our test2 class. By the default, you don't have autocomplete because you don't have any register class. To add them, go to the write classes. And here you can add them by a comma separated or new class per row. Let's add them. You can easily remove them as well. And also if you have a lot of classes, you can search it here as well. Classes you can remove as well. Also there is a change for a stack and a list view as well. So if you go here, if we reload it, we can see that right away we have the autocomplete from the classes that we created. Background blue, background red. We also done the integration with the script organizer. If we create a block, you can choose the CSS or even the SCSS, create a file. And as you can see here, we have a loop uh, to create uh, columns and it's quite e quite hard to uh, do it one by one. So what we can do is we are going to create a CSS file and then we're going to scan that CSS file for classes. Let's publish it. And let's now open the CSS just for a preview inside our Visual Studio. So we can see that we created a column 1 to 10. We can easily just switch this to 12 and you can see it changed right away. And we have one more for our vertical center. So we are going to go to the tools, Gutenberg playing classes. Let's change this and you can see it's a block team header and then it's written as CSS, team, header, SCSS. We can save changes. And if we go to the right classes, you can see that previous classes are merged with the, our uh, classes from the scanned CSS file. So you can see column 1 to 12 and then the vertical center as well. If we go here, reload the page. You can see that right away we have the previous classes, then the columns, and then the vertical center. So you can um, create your code blocks, or you can also import if you go to the features and you enable the script manager. We are going to open the bootstrap, for example. We are going to copy the CDN link. We 
going to save it. And then under the settings, we need to reload it. And you can see uh, right away we got the bootstrap as well. I'm going to save the changes. And you can see that uh, even if you're using the CDN, we can still scan the bootstrap CSS and get all the bootstrap classes. You can use other frameworks as well. Besides the script organizer, we also have the deep integration with the Winden. And if you want to get Tilewind autocomplete, you need to select autocomplete from the Winden settings page, press save changes, and then press generate autocomplete. Once you press the generate autocomplete, you need to wait for status to change from pending to success. Once uh, autocomplete file is done, you will see the success status and also press enable Gutenberg integration. Save changes. And if you go to the plain classes and if we refresh, you will see that uh, we don't store the Tilewind classes here because it's uh, too much of them. But uh, if we open here, you can see that everything is working right away. You can easily just change them. Preview and you can see how easily will be to work with the uh, Tilewind and uh, Autocomplete. Also, I want to point that the Gutenberg have multi-element edit. So if we duplicate this page, this uh, element, we select both of them. We can uh, edit both of them in same time. And you can see the preview, it's working right away. Sorry, I need to remove this one. And you can see the preview. Also, you can select them right away and you can change it, update, reload. You can see the changes right away. For fine tuning, testing and development, we created one more feature that's called the class assistant. If you enable it and save changes, and if you go to the front end, you need to be logged in as administrator and you will get this uh, robot. So if you do a control and click on the element, it's going to write you all the classes that this element has and you can just change them. You can uh, rewrite them. You can also delete them. You can update it. And also I want to point that uh, none of these edits will be changed. It's just for a preview and if you reload it, it's going to go back to the previous state. Thank you for watching and hopefully you enjoy in this playing classes for Gutenberg feature presentation. Join our Facebook group and let's discuss what more features you would like to see in this plugin. Thank you and bye.